This rifle puts a smile on my face, and most of you probably recognize what it is. This is a Marlin 336 in 3030, a classic American Big Woods deer rifle. And what is so special about it is that this is one of the brand new ones being made by Marlin under Ruger's ownership down in Made in North Carolina. You know, when they had announced that they were coming out with these, everybody who is a lever gun fanatic was just waiting with bated breath to see how Marlin would do under Ruger's ownership. And I'll tell you what, they have done right by this brand. It is a cherished brand, cherished by me, cherished by others. And this gun at this year's gun test just won all of our hearts and was the consensus pick for the editor's choice gun of the year. And man, did it deserve it. For one, just what it represents in terms of Marlin's revival is one big part of it. But I have a long history with Marlin, and these Ruger-made Marlins are the finest Marlins ever produced. The quality of the machining, the CNC work that they've done on this, the other little details that they've put into, like how they've slimmed down the forend, they've gotten rid of some of the quality control issues that have plagued Marlins, particularly when they were under the Remington brand, and really just from but stock to muzzle, everything on this gun is just lovely. The wood is lovely, the checkering's nice, the fit and finish between the stock and the receiver is wonderful. The finishes, the blued finishes on the receiver, the way that they've polished it, the bluing up here, everything on this rifle is just spot on. And one thing that's really nice is that the, the price on this is not crazy, 1239 bucks. Of course, that comes with a big caveat. These are in such high demand right now that people are purchasing these and then reselling them for a lot more money. So, you know, take that price with a grain of salt. If you can get one, get your name in a queue and order it at that price, good on you. It is a screaming deal. It's probably a screaming deal at the higher price points as well. You know, in terms of the functionality of this, it'll be very familiar to anybody who's run a lever gun before. You know, this has a 20 inch barrel, holds six rounds of 30-30 ammunition. This weighs about seven pounds, right where you want it, nicely balanced. The trigger on it, <laughs> classic lever action trigger, about an eight pound trigger on this bad boy. You know, but other, other than that, like everything on this is just smooth and, it, and it's a good shooter. For our 100 yard accuracy testing, average about 1.6 inches. For some members of the test team, this shot like a house on fire. Editor-in-chief Alex Robinson, executive editor Natalie Krebs, test team member Sean Murphy, they all put some phenomenal five-shot groups through this, uh, through this gun. And really, the other thing that was nice about it is that it liked a variety of loads. There was a 150 grain soft point load from Hornaday that it shot really well. There was 170 grainer from Winchester. Again, very consistent, good groups. And one of the things that's kind of cool about the 3030 in general is that there are some other interesting loads out there. So it's worth experimenting with it. But the bottom line is that this rifle is, you know, such a great comeback story for a beloved brand that had, you know, really been on the ropes that we had been worried that was going to disappear forever but you know, has come back like a phoenix rising from the ashes to be a better, more beautiful, more beautifully produced, wonderful lever gun than we've ever seen bearing the Marlin name in history.